How's it going everybody? Hope you're all doing well. So I've upgraded a lot of the electronics in my bug out bag, get home bag, whatever you tend to call it. I kind of merged the two together, get home bag, bug out bag. They're both the same bag that I will grab. And this is a long range one, but a lot of people have controversy in putting electronic devices you know, within that because you gotta sustain them. Normally that means extra excess weight and the tried and true methods of just, you know, not using electronics works really well. But at the same time, electronic based items can help you massively and they are worth their weight. So I'm gonna just gonna go over, hey, what do I carry and how do I keep them running pretty much indefinitely? So let's dive into the bag, show you everything that I have. So pretty much all my electronics fit in this small little ditty sack that is of course waterproof to keep you know water from getting in there and destroying your electronics. Here's a couple different items I'll talk about here in a second after I explain the purpose of it. But this small sack is fairly nice. Extremely lightweight is mainly is what I was going to is the reason why I upgraded is to cut weight. So this is a Faraday bag. So this uh, stops a lot of the, you know, coronal mass ejection or EMP. At least it has a possibility of stopping it. So immediately first in here, I have a power film solar panel. So this is a smaller one. That's just one USB out and it takes 18650. There's a single one in here that's permanent. You can't take it out, but this is a small enough panel to do what I need with it, which is pretty much why I swapped out my larger panel, which I'll probably throw a photo of in here, is because that one, the larger one, was just way overkill, honestly, for what I was battery maintaining. Now, let's get this set up over here. So here's another Faraday bag that I have, kind of du double layered, and mainly because I have my PVS-14s night vision inside it. I always run night vision in my bag just because the benefit of it at running at night, you're not going to see a lot of people, especially if it's really bad. Next is a goal zero battery bank or a double A battery bank. This takes four double A batteries and you can either pull power out of it or you can charge into it. So it kind of works extremely well with this is I can take the power from my solar panel and put it into my AA batteries to continue to charge, which I have over here. Four AA batteries, of course, which go and use that extremely well, out in constantly. Also run traditional. Um, these are lithium energizer AA's and Roughly one of these batteries will run my night vision for 60 hours, just one battery. So more than likely, I won't even have to go to my uh, rechargeables. Also, I have kind of a traditional battery bank in here as well. And that's so I can put pull power from this battery bank into this one or into this one or into this one. It's like multiple different cells and they're extremely lightweight. I have specifically assorting charging cables, which this one has like the stackable effect. So this one charges my Garmin, which I'll get to here in a second. And then the next one, you know, also USB-C, and then it has traditional in it as well. And then also it has USB like A or whatever the old school one is, which is how you input in this. So kind of goofy, but they went with, down that route. And then lastly, I have CR-123s for battery as well. But there's also three or four other items that I use. Here is a black diamond headlamp. So this is has a beam, it has a um, floodlight, and then it has a red light, mainly to keep your night vision if necessary. And this one also is rechargeable with triple A's. Now I don't have really much to recharge them, but I also have a recharging port on the side so I can recharge them from any one of my devices and I have pretty much indefinite light with the solar panel. Also my main um, TLR1 ProTac 1L1AA takes double A's, 
CR123s, and if necessary, it can take AAAs. So this is a nice headlamp or a head uh, light if necessary, or a handheld light as well, which I have it turned off. I just screwed it so it doesn't discharge on me. One of the last items is I have a Garmin InReach Mini, which I can satellite communicate pretty much anywhere in the world just using my cell phone. I can text. So, and it also gives me my location and other stuff like that. And then lastly, of course, is my Garmin Tactics Delta, which is kind of GPS basis. And this thing is awesome, which can coincide with all these items as well. I can have it work with this. And then my phone is always, of course, with me. So these are all the items that I've majorly slimmed down. I, I cut about a pound out, mainly out of some other items and the solar panel, just to slim down because I didn't really need them majorly anymore. So this is what I'm running right now. I'm gonna link all these items if you're interested in you know, purchasing them, Amazon affiliate. I'll get, like if you purchase one of these items, I get a few cents off of it. So it helps the channel out. But I'll throw them out there just so you're interested if, you're, if you want to look into them. But this is my full electronics kit for the bug out bag. These are all the items that I use. Works extremely well, I've been testing them out. So if you guys like this kind of stuff, definitely hit like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Um, consider being a Patreon. PayPal donation. If you don't want to be a Patreon, Patreon gets all exclusive access to like me personally, messages, all kind of stuff like that. And then if not, then just like and subscribe. It helps out the algorithm quite a bit and I greatly appreciate it. Other than that, I hope you all have a great day.